You know the shtick at this point, we really like dogs here. From dogs growing natural dreadlocks to a breed that thinks it's a lion, here are 10 of the most amazing dog breeds. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. The Bergamasco Sheepdog. Beneath that one-of-a-kind coat is a large, muscular shepherd dog with an ancient pedigree. But since it's the coat that makes this dog quite amazing, let's focus more on that. The Bergamasco Sheepdog has hair of three different textures that form naturally occurring loose mats, or flocks, covering the body and legs. The flocks provide protection from the fierce, cold, and wild predators of the Italian Alps, the breed's ancestral homeland. Bergamascos are bright, loyal, loving, and trainable. Also very independent, being a mountain dog. They take to watching over loved ones with a serene vigilance. Where your strange is until properly introduced, Bergamascos are aggressive only as a last resort. The coat of an adult Bergamasco is basically maintenance-free, as it doesn't shed, doesn't need to be brushed, and doesn't need to be bathed more than two or three times a year. Perfect for the lazy pet owner. Number 9. The Schipperke. Standing no higher than 13 inches tall, Schipperkes are small dogs built for hard work. Ships, as they're lovingly called, were originally bred as ratters and watchdogs. Their powerful jaws, necks, and forequarters, coupled with a stealthy cat-like hunting style, make them the ideal rat-catching machines. The black coat is plentiful around the neck, shoulders, and legs, giving the breed a silhouette that accentuates a thick, substantial body. The foxy face completes the unique look of this already unique breed. If you can't tell a Schipperke from an ordinary dog, then you probably need to have your eyes checked. Schipperkes are very active, energetic, and busy little dogs. A brisk daily walk or a romp in a fenced yard will provide needed exercise, and they love playing and exploring. And they also thrive in households that have the time and patience to properly train them and appreciate their playful personalities. In other words, this breed can be quite a handful for fur parents who don't have time or don't appreciate a good run around the park. Not for a lazy person like me, I'm afraid. Number 8. The Pharaoh Hound. Looking absolutely stately, cash, and regal, the Pharaoh Hound can be dated back to around 3000 BC. It's long been rumored that the breed originates back to ancient Egypt, but was recently proven otherwise. Recent DNA analysis has shown the breed originated in Malta, where instead of being the pets of kings, were primarily used to hunt rabbits. In any case, though, the breed has been shown in previous Egyptian hieroglyphics, which lends credence to the idea of the Pharaoh Hound existing for centuries. The Pharaoh Hound is a muscular, athletic breed with a graceful stride. His original purpose was to track small game by using his talents of sight, sound, and smell. Their looks also exude an exotic and regal appearance. They absolutely love to play and have intense bouts of energy. This breed is very athletic and excels at agility and lure coursing. Number 7. The Bloodhound. The Bloodhound became very popular police dogs, although their droopy face doesn't make it particularly look the part. However, they do serve a very specific role for law enforcement, which is tracking people and narcotics. And believe me, no other dog does it better. This breed's amazing ability to isolate a specific scent and follow it over long distances make them very valuable dogs. In fact, Bloodhounds arguably have the best nose in the biz, with Beagles and Basset Hounds coming in at a close second. As an example, their sense of smell is a thousand times better than a human's. This breed was the very first to be commissioned by a police unit for their services. They've been working with police since 1889, when they were used to try to track down Jack the Ripper in London. Today, though, there are fewer bloodhounds working in canine, but we have them to thank for keeping dangerous and illicit substances from the streets. Number 6. The Sesky Terrier. The Sesky Terrier, sometimes called the Bohemian or Czech Terrier, is a small, muscular hunting dog. They originated from the Czech Republic, where these dogs were considered to be a national breed. They're known as patient, playful, brave, loyal, obedient, intelligent, and very sociable. These dogs love people and children, but can be reserved with strangers, making them excellent guard dogs despite their size. And believe it or not, they're excellent hunting dogs as well. They're used to primarily hunt fox, rabbit, duck, pheasant, and even wild boar. Sesky Terriers were introduced in the wake of World War II, but were only recognized as a breed in 2011 by the American Kennel Club. This means that they're one of the most recent breeds to be acknowledged in America. But perhaps the most amazing thing about this breed is despite them being really furry, they're hypoallergenic, thus the perfect companions for people with allergies to pet hair and dander. Number 5. 
the pulley. First off, we got the dreadlocks, the instantly recognizable and most unique feature of the pulley. The coat's naturally occurring cords are woolly, dense, and weatherproof. Either corded or brushed out, pulley coats require lots of attention. Under the dreads, there's a compact but powerful dog, standing 16 to 17 inches at the shoulder. These dogs are remarkably agile and light on their feet, earning a reputation as the acrobat of the dog world. This is a breed that needs to be kept mentally active. They're incredibly intelligent, agile, and loyal, which makes them able to learn quickly and they strive to please their owners. However, they do not suffer fools lightly and they require a firm but fair hand. This is a headstrong breed who has no problem humiliating you in public, so prepare yourself for that. Also, they are herding dogs, and as such, many of them do not give up control easily. They will follow commands, but they do things their own way, and they don't care for repetition. With puppies especially, it's important to do proper socialization. Number 4. The Ozawak As one of the newest breakout breeds in 2019, the Ozawak is also one of the most expensive. Hailing from West Africa, they were mainly used as hunting dogs and are distinct relatives to Middle Eastern and South Indian hounds. A regal-looking dog with a lean physique, the Ozawonk is a swift sighthound that will draw admiring looks every time you take it for a walk. With its extreme looks, this dog's body is unique in that it's taller than it is long. Named for the Ozawonk Valley in the Sahara Desert where this breed originated, the breed made its appearance in North America in the 1980s, making it a relatively newer furry face on the dog scene. Boasting a combination of loyalty and independence, this breed not only does well in a family household, but also as therapy dogs in nursing homes and rehabilitation centers. Due to its lean stature, feeding this dog isn't really a problem. In its native habitat, the Ozawak lived on a low-protein diet which consisted of the same food as its owners, mainly millet and goat milk. Honestly, that's a little hard to understand. A dog that isn't a picky eater looks absolutely stunning and is generally easy to take care of. All that does come at a price, though, and that's about 9,000 bucks. Good luck on that one. Number 3. The Black Russian Terrier What makes the Black Russian Terrier an amazing dog breed is its history, or rather its lack thereof. As its name implies, the breed's country of origin is Russia. But the Black Russian Terrier was developed in the early 1950s by Russian military. More specifically, it was done by the former Soviet Army's Red Star Kennel. They are large, shaggy, and strong breeds, specifically bred for military purposes, mainly for guarding. They're very dominant and need experienced handlers. They were bred with those breeds which were particularly used in wars and world wars like the Giant Schnauzer, the Ardell Terrier, and the Rottweiler, among others, having about 17 to 20 dog breeds in their bloodline. However, how exactly they were bred is still unknown. This is due to the breed's military origins and limited access to classified information during and after the breed's very complex development over a period of several years. They have good stamina, suitable for working in stressful and harsh conditions. They're also used as patrol dogs, guarding military bases, sentry dogs, detection dogs, and search and rescue dogs as well. They're intelligent, highly active, and have strong guarding instincts. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today's pick, or rather picks, are clearly fake. That is, unless you've personally seen a dog with either a chicken or a reptile's head. To which I would say, good for you. Please stay away from me. However, there is a dog that exhibits a particular reptilian feature. Find out next with number two. The Otter Hound. Otter hunting is generally illegal, which may be why these dogs are one of the most endangered dog breeds today, with less than a thousand worldwide. This breed has an amazing adaptation not normally found in dogs, and it makes them excellent water dogs. They actually have webbed feet. There are references to otter hounds in England as far back as the 1100s, but it wasn't until the late 18th century that the breed came to look as it does today. Their quarry was, quite predictably, river otter, an animal that put much-needed fish stocks at risk. Later, hunting river otter became a sport rather than a way of protecting fish ponds. Another interesting trait of otter hounds, though, is the way that many of them choose to drink from the bottom of their water dish. It's not uncommon for them to submerge their nose or even their entire head when taking a drink, rather than lapping from the surface like other breeds. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. The Lochin 
A small dog with an enormous heart, Lochin are medium-sized dogs that stand a bit over a foot tall at the shoulder. What makes this breed quite unique is its coat. Not because they grow that way, but because their owners seem to agree that the king of the jungle's hairstyle is always the way to go. Their coat is almost always styled so that they look like lions, in which most of their hindquarters and tail are clipped down close to their skin. This gives the pups the appearance of a cute little lion. The coat comes in several colors and color combinations, and beneath the coat is a dog that is strong, sturdy, but elegant and artfully balanced. The Lo Chen is a charming, lively companion, and he loves to play in his fenced yard or accompany his owner on long walks. He's very intelligent and loves having new challenges, and he's a great candidate for obedience or agility. He won't be suited to go on long distance runs though, but he's a sturdy little dog who can be happy doing just about any activity with his people. Which amazing dog breed is your favorite? Let us know down below in the comments. Also make sure to check out the channel's other amazing content. As always, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Later everybody!